The Uno Sync Pro is a state-of-the-art 3 oscillator through analog paraphonic dual filter synthesizer, designed for the modern musician and cutting-edge producer. In this video, we are going to take a deep dive into the feature and functionality of this powerhouse instrument. The Uno Sync Pro begins with three discrete continuous wave shape oscillators. Continuous wave shapes means that you can smoothly move between each individual oscillators from a triangle wave to a sawtooth wave, to a pulse wave, and then change the width of the pulse wave, either manually, as I'm doing right now, or with pulse wave modulation. In fact, you can use the Unosyn Pro modulation sources to modulate not only the pulse width, but also the waveform shape. For example, you can use the mod wheel to smoothly change the oscillator wave shape. You can do the same thing with an envelope. You can also smoothly modulate the oscillator shape with an LFO. You can even modulate the three oscillator shape independently with multiple modulation sources. I use the filter envelope to modulate the first oscillator shape. The LFO one to modulate the oscillator two wave shape. and the LFO2 for modulating the oscillator 3 wave. The Uno Sync Pro oscillators can also modulate each other. And first let's talk about the hard sync. Hard sync is particularly identifiable when the pitch of the synced oscillator is being modulated by an envelope or an LFO. Now, let's talk about FM on the Unosynth Pro oscillators. FM stands for Frequency Modulation, and it's where one oscillator modulates the frequency or pitch of another oscillator. Then we have ring modulation. Ring modulation is similar to FM, where one oscillator modulates another oscillator. But here the source oscillator is not one of the audio oscillators, but rather a dedicated ring modulator sine wave source. The sine wave oscillator runs at a constant frequency and modulates the Uno Sync Pro's audio oscillator. The Unosyn Pro also includes an audio noise generator that you can use as a sound source in addition to or instead of our traditional synth waveforms. Noise can add impact to resonant filter sweeps uh, and with square and sawtooth waves or on its own. And it can make animated sound effects or even drum sounds when combined with filters and envelopes. The Unosyn Pro has a dual filter architecture, two totally separate filters, each with distinct tonal personality, to give you maximum coloration option. Filter 1 is the improved version of the original Unosyn filter, an OTA multi-mode design that can be run either in high-pass or low-pass mode with a two-pass low. Wow. 
The second filter uses a new SSI chip from Dave Russell and Company, the same team that designed the legendary SSM chips in the 70s. The feature 2 SSI chip is a low pass filter with a selectable slope either 2 pole, like the famous Oberheim FCM and the original ARP Odyssey, or a 4 pole, like uh, the Minimoog or the Prof5. The filters can be run in series or in parallel, in or out of phase, and each filter can also be bypassed. And all of these possible permutations give you 24 available filter modes, giving you some serious tonal coloring option. You can create ultra flexible bandpass configuration by putting filter 1 on high pass mode going into filter 2, which is always on low pass mode. The difference in the cutoff frequency between filter 1 and filter 2 will determine the width of the bandpass. And you can dial this in manually with the cutoff knob using the filter button to toggle between the two filters, or you can set both filters to the same cutoff frequency and then use the spacing control to move the two cutoff frequency apart from each other. <laughs> Another way to use the two filters for ultra fat bass sound is to set them both on low pass with the filter 2 set to the full pole 24 dB per octave slope. The filter should be in phase, in series and the cutoff linked. Another trick for getting huge bass tones out of the filter section is actually a combination of high pass and low pass filter. Set the filter 1 to high pass mode with keyboard tracking turning off. Set the cutoff frequency very low and turn up the resonance until you hear a noticeable bass boost from the resonant peak. The low cutoff frequency of the high pass filter is now giving you a big sub bass boost. Now set the filter to the 4 pole slope with keyboard track turned on and dial in a typical synth bass patch. You get all the benefits of the fat 24 dB per octave low pass filter, but with the added bonus of the sub bass boost from the low frequency resonant peak of the high pass filter in the filter one. Now, to go in a completely different direction, putting the two filters out of phase in a parallel routing, let's you dial in a notch filter. Also note that the filter too can be driven into self-oscillation. This means that when the resonance is turned up to its maximum, the filter itself feeds back and self-resonates to become an actual oscillator with a sine wave shape. Make sure you have a keyboard tracking turning on for the filter too, and self-oscillating filter will track the notes you play and behave like the sine wave oscillator. The Unosync Pro has two four-stage envelopes that are assigned to control the filters and the amplitude. Each envelope has the classic attack, decay, sustain and release controls. And you just press the filter or amp envelope buttons to jump to the envelope section on the sound programming matrix and use the four knobs to dial in your envelope shape. The envelopes can also be used to modulate destination other than the filters and the amplitude by using the modulation matrix.
the envelopes can also be looped in order to use them as a more flexible modulation sources. A looping envelope can essentially act as a programmable variable shape LFO. The Uno Synth Pro also has two LFOs, or low frequency oscillators, that can be used for everything from pitch vibrato to amplitude tremolo, or filter wow effects, to subtle detuning movement of the oscillators, and much more. Here, you can set the LFO shape, anything from a conservative sine triangle wave to a choppy square or soft of wave, to move extreme random or even noise shapes for more extreme modulation of the filters, pitch, volume, oscillator waveform, and even the speed of the other LFO. Of course, the LFOs can be tempo synced, and then set to node values to work with the internal sequencer and the arpeggiator, or an external MIDI clock. Also, the LFOs has a fade-in chord that can be set uh, between 0 and 10 seconds and can have different curve shapes between linear, exponential and logarithmic. The Uno Synth Pro has a super powerful 16 slot modulation matrix that gives the instrument real modular synth functionality right within the synthesizer itself. You simply select a modulation slot, then select a source such as an envelope or an LFO, a destination such as an oscillator pitch or filter cutoff frequency, and the modulation amount, positive or negative. And there you have your synthesizer modulation. With 16 slots in the modulation matrix, you can create complex modular synth style routing with this. The modulation matrix is also why you define what the gate and control voltage input and output do per preset. To determine what goes out of the gate and CV, simply assign the source in the modulation matrix and then set gate or CV out 1 and 2 as a destination. Similarly, to determine how the gate and CV inputs function on a given preset, set one of the two gate or CV in as a source and a destination of your choice. The original Uno synth has stunted its user with the ability to program multiple synthesis parameters per step in its 16 step sequencer. Now the sequencer is greatly expanded with up to 64 steps per preset. You can select the step length you want and then page through the step in group of 16 using the page button. Uno synth Pro also expands the programmability to over 80 available parameters to sequence per step. We also added a couple of features that some fans might appreciate. The programmable accent, tie and gate. And note that those parameters can also be used as sources in the modulation matrix. The sequencer can also be transposed while playing, and there is a song mode where multiple presets are chained together to create an actual song length track. Also, the Uno Synth Pro includes a powerful arpeggiator with 10 different play modes that can be synced to the internal tempo or external MIDI clock. And there is also a skip feature that lets you mute the step of the arpeggio on the fly for ultra creative real time arpeggiator performance.
IK Multimedia is known worldwide as a leading edge DSP effects developer. And in fact, there are three available digital effects slots. The mod slot lets you apply a chorus ensemble effects, a flanger or a phase. And these modulations are modeled from different well-known machines. For example, the assemble effect is modeled from the original ARP string assemble chorus phaser effects and the original Roland ensemble chorus found in direct classics like the Juno 60. The delay slot lets you choose between five different modes mono, stereo, doubler, left, center, right, or ping pong, with variable feedback and filtering. And of course, the delay time can be tempo synced. The reverb slot provides four top quality algorithms to give your symptoms ultra spacious dimension. We have an hole, plate, reverse and spring reverb. These are brand new algorithms developed for the Unosyn Pro and these reverbs have a level of controls not easily found on board a synthesizer. For example, the reverb time can be adjusted up to 30 seconds for low, mid and high frequency independently. In addition to the three digital effects load, there is an enhanced analog drive circuit that can go from subtle saturation to screaming distortion. On the rear panel, you'll find an external inject that lets you route internal signal from an Eurorack modular system, another synth, a guitar, or even a voice through the Uno Synth Pro audio path. You can select at which stage the external in gets patched in. Before the filter, so you can use the dual analog filters to process your sound before going also into the effects, or a clean pass through for a simple daisy chaining. The Unosyn Pro provides stereo balanced quarter inch outputs for audio file noiseless operation and it also includes 5 pin MIDI in and out for connecting external MIDI hardware. And of course there is also a USB MIDI for interfacing directly with a computer or a mobile device. With professional features and top quality audio on every level, the Unosyn Pro is manufactured in our IK Multimedia quarters here in Italy for modern musicians and cutting edge composers. So the Unosyn Pro is truly the next generation of analog synthesis for everyone.